Good day. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Dwayne Mass. Welcome again to another Primetime Devo. We're continuing to go through 1 Timothy verse by verse, and we're looking at these qualifications for someone who would uh, be a bishop or a pastor. And uh, today we're in verse 4 of 1 Timothy chapter 3. And a bishop or a pastor must be one who rules his own house well, having his children in submission with all reverence. Okay, so next on this list of qualifications, you have to be able to rule your house well. Now, so far as we have seen these qualifications necessary for the pastor as related to his personal life, in addition to his aptitude to teach he must have his personal life together on the fronts that we have previously mentioned. Now, if married or in charge of a family, he must exhibit the qualities of leadership in that home. Now, the idea of ruling here is that of exercising rank. It's to preside over those under your authority. It comes from a word that means to guard. So a pastor is one who has shown that he is able to preside or guard his family or household unit well. The first mark of a good leader in the kingdom of God is in the area of service. Jesus spelled that out for us in Matthew 20, 25 through 28. But Jesus called them to himself and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them. And those who are great exercise authority over them. Yet it shall not be so among you. But whoever desires to become great among you, let him be your servant. And whoever desires to be first among you, let him be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Now, this is an important trait of a leader. He must be a servant. And yet these traits are not always easily observed because you and I, we don't know what goes on behind the closed doors of the pastor's house or the parsonage and wiring it. <laughs> well, that's not a good idea. So this characteristic is only determined by the testimony of family members and whatever can be observed in public. Is there obvious love and respect shown toward the husband, the father, the pastor? Have you often caught the pastor in the act of loving service to his wife and children? You know, it's worth saying here that because this is a qualification mentioned for a pastor, it's important to make sure he has his priorities in order. And those priorities are God, family, then vocation. The demands of shepherding a congregation can infringe on that order. And therefore, the order needs to be guarded by the pastor and respected by the congregation. Well, we'll look more at this qualification next time. But that's all we have uh, for today. May God bless you. Thank you much for listening. And remember, Jesus loves you. Tell your face about it.